Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3 Now My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at Filament 1 Pro Select PLA. So I've been right into the video. Filament 1 sent me a spool of their brand new line of filament called Pro Select. And this is a really high quality filament made right here in the USA. And the spool they sent me is a variant called Glint. And it's a blue color, so they call it Glint Blue PLA. And this has a ton of sparkles in it, but it's different than any other sparkle filament because the sparkle particles are really, really tiny. And this also makes it easier to print with because there's less of a chance of the particles getting stuck in the nozzle on the way out. And in my opinion, it also looks really, really cool with these millions of tiny little sparkle particles in your prints. So the spool they sent me was 1.75 millimeters, and right now they only have black and white in 3 millimeters, but most printers are 1.75. And the spool is clear, so it's really easy to look into and see how much filament you have left. It also allows you to see the really cool glint color of the filament as well. So because this is a high quality filament, it has a really nice tolerance of plus or minus 0.02 millimeters, which is awesome. Also, the print temperature is between 195 and 225 degrees Celsius on the nozzle, and the bed temperature is 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. So it is a little bit higher than normal PLA, but that's because it has those sparkle particles in it, which makes it look really, really cool. So this is a blue PLA with some silver sparkles in it and has an amazing finish. It does have more sparkles than other glittery filaments, and the sparkles are really, really tiny. It makes a really cool effect when printed out into a model. This also allows for super smooth prints at 0.2 millimeters. I found that that was the best height for the best quality prints. And also because the particles are really small, they don't stick out of the edges a lot. So the edges are really, really smooth as well. So this filament printed perfectly. I printed at 215C on the nozzle and 60C on the bed on my Ender 3 and the prints came out absolutely perfect. This filament printed like butter. So it prints really easily and smooth, but I was surprised about how easily it printed, especially with these sparkles inside of it. It prints just like normal PLA and the surface finish is really, really smooth with that awesome glitter inside. So the glitter shines off the light and makes a really cool surface finish. I can't tell you how cool this filament looks in real life. So right now this Pro Select filament is 30 bucks a spool and it comes with free shipping in the United States and it comes with awesome stickers. So that's an awesome bonus. So, of course, I printed a few models, and the first one was my Maker Coin. I wanted to print this just to see how it would work with the small little details in the center of my, of my logo, and it came out absolutely amazing. I was surprised about how easy it printed first try. This is my very first print with this material, and again, the surface quality looked amazing. The glint color looks awesome in the light, and again, this is only the first print, and it turned out perfect. So because of my success with the first print, I wanted to bump it up a notch. I printed a castle. Now this castle has a ton of tiny little details. Every single brick is in the model. And if you look closely, you can see the small little bricks in the printed model. And the castle turned out perfect on the Ender 3. And again, that glint color really shined in the light. You can see all the little sparkles in the blue filament. This color is really, really cool. So after that, I wanted to print something more elegant. So I found some eggs on Thingiverse and printed out four of them. They each have a different geometry, but I was super surprised when they all printed on one bed at once with no mistakes at all. And if, and if you look at the surface finish on each print, every single outer shell is absolutely perfect. And again, that glint color, the silver sparkles shining through, it just looks super cool. It looks a lot cooler than just normal PLA. So after that, I wanted to see if it was functional, just besides looking cool. So I printed a strength test, like a little bar, and I bent it. And it was tough to bend. And it didn't bend like, say, Pet G would, but just, it just bent, it bent a little bit and snapped right in half. As you can see, it was a clean snap right in half but you're pretty much not gonna be using this kind of sparkle material for anything um, that's gonna take a lot of force. So finally, I printed an aperture box. So this is a really cool box that you print in place on the bed, and once you're done, you pop it off, and then it should just work right off the bed. And it did. I had to just loosen up a little bit by just using a screwdriver, but after that, it started working perfectly. And as you can see, the motion of the aperture looks super cool, especially with the curved lid. And I got a ton of people asking me what it was on Twitter and Instagram. And again, that finish looks super cool and the color is absolutely amazing. And they do have other colors with this glint variant. 
So as you can see, this filament is really, really cool. And this is a brand new line of filament for Filament One. And they don't just sell filaments, but they're a distributor of other 3D printing parts and materials. So go check them out. Thanks to Filament One for setting out this filament for me for a review. Again, the link to this filament and everything else from them will be down in the description below. So, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I will answer every single one of them. And I will see you guys in the next video.